Hello, this is John, and welcome to my channel, John's Watercolor Talk. Let's start today's live drawing. Yeah, this is the, my last uh, painting. It was uh, yeah, ocean, uh, energetic ocean view. Today, I want to paint uh, this some uh, classic style, get a draw. Uh, but yeah, I want to um, paint with some partial color works so please enjoy it if you have any questions please feel free to ask let's start today i don't want to uh fix with masking tape i want to give some rest uh, and i will use cello fude fountain pen it's a very unique it's uh, for the calligraphy, calligraphy, but I use it um, in painting and drawing. And this is a Sanders World Ford rock paper quarter size, and I use Daniel Smith watercolors. <coughs> Let's start. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you uh, search about. Control drawing. There are very exciting uh, drawing you can find. Uh, mostly, it is painted with one line, line. But actual meaning of the control drawing is different. But sometimes the word meaning uh, can be changed. Uh, yeah, but so people started to use control drawing as one line drawing. So nowadays, control drawing means mostly it says about one line drawing. And the one line drawing is very unique to fix your line, especially bad habits. When you line, uh, do drawing with some short line, is quite cause some problem. When you don't have some assurance about your line, it can be easily uh, very short. But if you use one line drawing. You cannot use a short line because it's one line, right? So if you use very short line or chicken step line, you can try to do this kind of control drawing exercise not limit about and do not uh, concentrate the shape very much you can give it some freedom it will be very fun and very unique you will notice very soon Yeah, how about this kind of drawing? It's not bad and exciting. So I always uh, teach about control drawing for my basic drawing class. And the result of students are awesome they can see the some uh, possibilities about their life and sometimes we try to do 
blind control drawing. It used one line too, but you cannot see the your paper until you finish your drawing. So you should concentrate your uh, observation only. And after finish your lines, the research is very fun. It's really good uh, activity with your family. Draw your family with some blind control drawing. It will be very fun. So, in your control drawing, you can give that feel too. Like what I'm doing now, this kind of line comes from uh, blind control drawing exercise. I got the feeling of the line and I'm using right now. It's very interesting. If you want to be fun with your family, you should try. Okay, I think almost done. Yeah, maybe you can do your signature too. Oh, you got this a uh, little bit. Hard because it's a uh, uh, it has some textures. So now, okay, I don't want to um, color work every my sky. So I want to paint some of my sky. I just wanted to keep the highlight feel of the bright area. Some of bright area, not every bright area. So yeah, send us waterfall. We keep uh, your paper wetter, longer than uh, any other watercolor papers because it contains a lot of waters it's very exciting so I hope you should try now I finished my sky and I'm doing some areas not every areas of my building yeah there are also some some dark area so I can think about that but now maybe it's okay for for the moment I can give some water spray 
It's fun. Please enjoy your watercolor. Many people are afraid about watercolor, but if you try to be bold and rough, you can just blend and mm, do what you want. And later, with some fun memories, memories, you can make it better. Just see what water does. It's a very unique and very interesting. Even you do some very splendid work. It's better to think about the light and shadow. So the paper is really wet now. You should use some uh, thicker, thicker wash than before. If you use to mark with some thicker washi, washi like this, yeah, you can see it's planned but not that much. So you can do your your How can I say? This description? I'm not sure about the vocabulary. And now, yeah. Police asked me about my angle of the paper. Yeah, I surely use uh, angle to give some uh, flow feel effect with gravity so this is maybe yeah, 30 30 degree so this upside is if you see in the beside like this yeah this angle So yeah, I'm describing with some description of light and shadows, but not that too much accuracy, accuracy, not with too much accuracy. In this moment, I also think about the warm and cool tone. Hello? Is it warm or is it cool? Hello. I'm this is... drawing green. Yeah, this is Welcome my... Welcome to my father's YouTube channel. <laughs> okay. My father's drawing the castle, like a castle, but it's a little bit different. It's like a... <laughs> okay. What's this thing? Oh, what's this thing? <laughs> Castle? Good kitchen. It's a maybe kettle draw. Oh. Okay. Bye. 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 Hello, Bliss. Bye. Hello, John. I love what water does. I see the angle today. So watercolor drips on your paper. Yeah, it's true. So it flow. But sometimes you need to uh, flow. Not this way, 
but the, this way then you can flip your uh, paper hold this and do like this then water go this way so you can control about that so for summary uh, first I use the pen drawing today but with one line I didn't uh, cut my line so I didn't stop just one line and I give some free wash but after the free wash I'm doing some uh, light and shadow works that's all only with that you can feel very exciting pen and wash you can use this method uh, in urban sketch two sometimes when you go out outing you are very nervous right mostly we don't know what to paint then we start uh, just copy what you see but sometimes it's not that good for your drawing even advanced sketch you should think about what you want to paint there are some main characters in your painting you should catch about that if you don't it can be flat very very flat because you didn't make the uh, change with your main characters if in the movie in a movie don't uh, describe their main character but describe everyone in the movie very detail it fell it cannot be uh, described the story because yeah you, you don't understand what are you talking about or what what the movie says you don't understand like as painting too you should say about your main characters it can be just a light and shadow but it's sure not in every uh, every element of your painting uh, isn't aren't the main characters there are main characters but there are also there are a lot of extras so you should careful about that don't describe everything
Okay. I want to dry some. To do that, I remove some pigment. If you don't, it would be splendid. Spread it, splendid. I'm not sure what the expression is correct. I want to keep some. Okay. These are too warm, I think. I remove some and make them cooler. Usually, far area is cooler than closer area. Maybe. Just like that for now. Okay, I will dry with using my uh, hair dryer. Spread it. Okay, thank you so much. So I will turn up the mic for a while. See you soon. Yeah, uh, it has been dried. Some more part is in uh, isn't dried perfectly, but I think it's okay. Uh, the area what I want to describe more. It's totally dry, so that's enough. If you mm, uh, do next level, if you want to do next level, you should uh, dry the paper very well and touch with this, not this fingerprint, and some oil can destroy uh, the next next level. It registers the water but this is okay so if it's too wet it uh, it's not enough you have to wait or dry more okay then uh, when the layer completed uh, you don't need to paint whole the thing so spare some areas even it's very weak uh, if we, even you want to uh, much darker you have to save some areas because watercolor is transparent medium so 
it's like it's as some transparent uh, film color film uh, edit so if you uh, add some part you can see very good transparent first wash previous wash wash but if you covered everything it's not so good so think about that and the most dark area can be described by this moment just some part okay uh, some some area of this I can describe some textures just think about you are describing some textures just some shape or marks with your brush you can use pen also but first I started with the one line drawing so I want to keep that concept so you can describe with brush now so it's just some few dry brush can be okay because you don't need to describe everything and you can uh, blend with some waterly brush blend out you can uh, reduce your marks right so if it's too clear just blend and do not do very detail Sometimes detail can destroy the whole scene's mood because as you do more detail work, the area which you are describing can be more important it means even if it's not good uh, not a main character John not your focal point it can be main it's not good if you want, you can use that. If you don't want, yeah, you can make your paint flat. In this kind of beautiful building give some temptation to describe it seems like to call just describe me <laughs> but you should injure about the temptation I regret a lot 
when I uh, do more unnecessary detail work. Less is better, mostly in the watercolor, because when you less paint, uh, you can save transparency. Maybe I can finish the detail work like this. I think it's okay. Maybe some bird. It's not necessary, but if you want. The board can be join your paint. Some texture. I want to give some red marks with brush. Some. Okay, it's done. Yeah, uh, it took 30 minutes, so if you went to a beautiful cathedral or some beautiful castle, you can paint partially. I think it's so you can be simpler than this. It's also quite a lot. So I want to remove some pigment. With paper towels. Some of area. Okay. I like it. So this uh interpreted is like this in uh painting language. So be the director of your painting. Do not just follow, do not just copy uh, the original scene. Yeah. So make your work. It will be very interesting. Okay, thank you for watching today's live. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and click like. Yeah. Also, Alan Bebertson. Leave your questions or comment if you have any uh, thing to discuss. Thank you so much. Be healthy. I will see you in the next live. Next live is um, uh, on Sunday, 9 p.m. EST. So I always do English live at that time. So please come. I welcome you. Thank you. Bye bye.